Hi guys, my name is Pratik and in this video we're going to talk about specific contracts and how they look. So we'll talk about nifty stock futures, commodities and even currencies. All the structures of all the underlyings, whether it's commodities or currencies or stock futures, the structure is the same. They all have lot sizes, they all have margin and leverage, they all have these different things that all futures have. The only thing that changes is the underlying itself. So why don't we start with Nifty Futures and see what that looks like. I'll choose Nifty Futures for say September like we did earlier. And this is added to the market watch. If I open up the buy window, we can see that the quantity or the minimum lot size over here is 50. So 50, 100, 150, 200. These are the multiples at which you can buy Nifty future contracts. For 200 quantity, we can see that the margin required is 4.38 lakhs. And for one single lot, it's about 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. We can see that the OI for Nifty futures is very high. This is a great indicator to know how liquid contracts are. And we can see that the order book is buzzing and the OI is pretty high, which means that this contract is pretty liquid. You'll notice that the contract size for Nifty is 50 shares multiplied by 17,648, giving you this contract size. But the margin requirement is only 1.1 lakh roughly, giving you this much leverage. Next, let's see another index. This is the banking index, Bank Nifty Futures, really popular instrument. And I'll add that to the market watch and open the buy window. We can see that it's trading at 37,716 and the lot size over here is 25. The margin required is 1,62,000. So the way to look at this in terms of leverage is that 25 quantity multiplied by 37,710 is the contract size. And the margin requirement is about 1.6 lakh rupees, giving you a leverage of this. Let me add another contract, and this can be, let's say, a stock futures. We'll do Darbar September futures. For Darbar September futures, we can see that the lot size is 1,250, and the margin requirement is 1,42,000. This brings us a contract value of 1,250 multiplied by 646. That's the contract value, and the margin required is about 1.4 lakhs giving you this much leverage. Let me add currency now, actually. Currency has become pretty popular lately, and I'll go for USD INR, obviously, for September. The first thing you'll notice is CDS right here, which means currency derivative segment. And the price over here is 73.61. Now, in quantity, you'll see one, but actually it means 1,000 USD, which means 1,000 quantity, giving you a total contract value of this much. And the margin requirement actually is very, very little for currency. Right now, it's 1,810. This makes it a super highly leveraged product. That's how much leverage you'll get if you trade currency. And the logic behind this is very simple, is that currency doesn't move 5-10% just like that. And that's why the margin and requirement is less since it's relatively stable. Finally, I'm going to add a commodity. Let's say maybe gold, I guess. And I'll choose October. That's the gold chart right there. I'll open the buy window to show the contract specifications. Again, here you'll notice the exchange is MCX and the current price is 46,195. The quantity over here is one, denoting one kg. Now this gives you a total contract size of this much, but the margin required for gold, as you can see over here, is 4.2 lakhs, actually almost 4.3 lakhs in this case, uh, giving you a leverage of this much. Lot sizes keep changing based on other factors, and this is mandated by the exchange. So you might see that the quantity of a few future contracts changes during a year, and this is reviewed periodically. So as you can see, all futures have all these things in common. They all have lot sizes, they all have margin, they all obviously have leverage. They also have mark to market, etc. Only the underlying changes. New derivative contracts keep getting introduced in the market. So if there's any new instrument you're curious to know how it works, go to the Varsity chapter right here, ask your questions, and Karthik himself will 
answer. In the next module, we're going to talk about options.